In this video, we're going to go over the blue shuffle. And this is one of three videos. This one is the first one, and this is the easy version. Hi, I'm Terry Carter. Welcome to Ukulele the Pros. If you're into blues ukulele tutorials, then this is a great channel for you. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you stay up to date with all the videos that I post. So I recently did a ukulele festival. It was actually one that I hosted, the People's Choice Ukulele Festival. And for the workshop part, I taught a blues shuffle and I did three versions of it, three variations, an easy, an intermediate, and an advanced. It went really well and the people really liked it. So I decided to go ahead and do these videos for you. So this one is gonna be the easy blue shuffle. And then don't forget to check out the other ones you'll see here on the channel, which will be the intermediate one, and then also on the advanced one. All right, so let me, uh, let me play just a little bit of it, and then we're gonna dive right in. So this is gonna be a strumming video. We're just gonna be strumming swung eighth notes the entire time. And we're just gonna use the 12 bar blues form, which is three chords, because we're gonna be in the key of A, the A7, the D7, and the E7. And I'm gonna go over all those. So first of all, let's just start with the A7 chord. This is just your one finger open A7 chord, just a great chord, an easy chord to know. And all you have to do is first finger on the third string, first fret. All right, so in this easy blues, we're gonna do the A7 chord for four measures. And we're just gonna strum eighth notes for the entire time. It's just gonna sound like this. All right, so that was two measures, and I'll go over the counting in a second. I'm just gonna use my index finger here, and we're just gonna strum down, up, down, up, down, up, down. These are all eighth notes. Eighth notes get half of a beat, so it's gonna be one, That's one measure, you're gonna do it for four measures, okay? So let's go ahead, let's do that. First four measures on that A7, just copy what I'm doing. Here we go, ready, and. And two. And three. And four. All right, so that's the first four bars. Remember, 12 bar blues. Now, when we get to bars five and six, we're gonna do just a D7 chord. Now the way I do my D7 chord is I use my second finger, fourth string, second fret, open third string, and then my third finger on the second string, second fret, and then open first string, so D7. If you want, and you wanted to use your first and your second fingers, that's totally fine as well. I prefer the second and the third. All right, so this is gonna be the same thing with our right hand, just a down-up pattern, except for this, we're only gonna do two measures, okay? So here we go on the D7, ready, and. All right, now we're in bar seven and eight, it goes back to the A7 chord, but this time only two measures. So here we go, ready, and. All right, so now we got the last four bars. Let me play it first, and then we'll go over it. Ready, and it's... So you notice that those four bars, the chord changed every single bar. So it starts on the E7 chord. So this one is just first finger on the fourth string. First fret, second finger on the third string, second fret, open, second string, and then my third finger on the first string, second fret. So E7, you're gonna strum it for one measure. So here we go, ready, and. Now you're gonna to switch to the D7 chord for one measure. Now you're gonna to go to the A7 chord for a measure, and. And then bar 12 here, you go back to the E7 one time, and. 
All right, so now let's do all four measures with no pauses. Remember, that's E7, D7, A7, E7. Ready, and... Now, since this is a 12 bar blues, you would either then repeat the whole thing again, or if you were gonna end it, you would just go back to the A7 chord and strum it one time. All right, so here we go. Let's do it now. Let's do the entire 12 bar blues. We're gonna do it two times through, no pauses. I'll help you with the chords. So here we go, from the top, remember, A7, ready, and. And we just end right there on an A7 chord. Now, if you were playing the blues with somebody else, you could just repeat it as many times as you wanted to. This time we just did it twice. And that's actually not a bad tempo. It's not too slow. It's really not that fast because some of these shuffle blues aren't always super fast. So you can do it there, have fun with it, get this down. And don't forget that we have the intermediate and the advanced videos coming up next, but this is your easy blues shuffle.